Hello everyone, I'm Miguel Sanchez and welcome to episode 99 of Logo Reviews. We're at the penultimate episode of season 4. And things, things are about to change for the better because we're down to the final two episodes of the season. If things could go right, so can I. But we're about to do it for the better. So if you're ready for it, let's get started. This is the final episode of the season. For episode 99, we're looking at Pop. That's right, this is the second to last episode of the season. And we're on episode 99, this one's about Pop. The next episode will be the final one of the season and the last one of the year. So, brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. After this, I'll be taking a short break from, from all of this. But I'll be back with you very, very soon. Otherwise, if you want to go catch up on, on episode 98, there's uh, the last episode we did was about... Yeah, the last episode we did was about Paramount's network. If you want to go check it out, the link to the video is up there on the top right corner. So you please click on the link up above and catch up anytime you want. Hi, everyone. With all that said, let's begin. But first, images are taken from Lopia. Pierre. Critical is everyone. The images are about to see. Do not belong to me or to anybody else. Or remember that? Good. With all that said, let's get started. Here's the short bio for those who, who don't know what Pop is. Pop, commonly referred to as Pop TV, formerly known as Electron Programming Guy, Preview Guy, Preview Channel, TV Guy Channel, and TV Guy Network, is an American paid television channel owned by Paramount Global under its networks division through, through MTV Entertainment Group. It is a general entertainment channel focusing primarily on programs pertaining to popular culture. The network was originally launched in 1981 as a Barker Channel service, providing a display of localized channel and program listings for cable television providers. Later on, the service, branded as Preview Channel or Preview Guide, later as Preview, began to broadcast interstitial segments alongside the on-screen guide, which which included entertainment, news, and promotions, and promotions for upcoming programs. After the previous parent company, United Video Satellite Group acquired the entertainment magazine TV Guide in 1998. UVSG would in turn be acquired by Gemstar the following year. The service was relaunched as TV Guide Channel, later TV Guide Network which now featured full-length programs dealing with the entertainment industry, including news magazines and reality shows, along with red carpet coverage from major award shows. Following the acquisition of TV Guide Network by Lionsgate in 2009, its program began to shift towards a general entertainment format with reruns of dramas and sitcoms. In 2013, CBS Corporation acquired a 50, uh, 50%, acquired a 50 stake in the network, and the network was renamed TVGN. At the same time, it's... At the same time, as its original purpose grew obsolete because of the integrated service, as of June 2014, none of the network's carriage contracts required the display of the listings, as they were and they were excluded from entirely from its high definition simulcast. In 2015, the network was rebranded as Pop. In 2019, CBS acquired Lionsgate's 50% stake in the network and merged with Viacom. Pop is available to 63.348 million households in America as of September 2018. Yeah, 67.348 million. That's a lot. But yeah, moving on to the stats. Channel name is Pop. Genre is pop culture. Launch day is 1981. Order is Paramount UB Networks, which is part of Paramount Global. Headquarters are New York City. They do not have a slogan. Website is www.pottv.com. Link is in the description down below. Please check it out now. Let's get to the review. But first, a look at Pop's logos over the years, plus all the facts that you didn't know about Pop. Enjoy!
All right, then you saw the logo history and all the facts that you didn't know about Pop. Let's review the current Pop logo. This logo has been used since 2015 at well, when it was branded as Pop. We just have a black red tangle with the word Pop in white inside it. Besides the word Pop, is besides the red tangle fits the uh, fits the size of the screen. Well, let's take uh, take a look at this. It fits the size of a screen. That's a lot. Can you see it now? Yeah, I thought so too. In fact, this logo is so amazing, I just can't even stand it. But either way, it's definitely one I could remember forever. As we take a look at the fat outs for this pop logo. This is the logo that I totally enjoyed so much uh, when, when, when TVGN rebranded as Pop. I miss TV Guy Network and TV Guy Channel. That's okay. I'll still enjoy more of Pop all the time. And thus, at the end of the day, I'm going to give this logo a score of 9 out of 10. An awesome logo. Definitely one it deserves the most. And just got to say, Pop is amazing. Not to be confused with the pop of the UK and Ireland, which we'll get to in a future episode. But yeah, that's just my personal conservative opinion. Feel free to agree or disagree with any thoughts, opinions, and opinions in the comment section below. With all that said, that's it for today. Thanks for watching another episode of Logo Reviews. I hope you all enjoyed it. The next episode we'll see you will be the final episode of the year and the final episode of the season before we get into the compilation video. So be on the lookout for these. For, be on the lookout for that coming your way real soon. And also be on the lookout for more content, including a new episode of Movie History, DreamWorks Animation, where we'll, where we'll be about trolls. And besides, the Moshi, the toothbrushing sock is out now on the channel. Yay! If you haven't seen it yet, definitely go check it out right now. If, if It's up there on the top right corner of the screen, so we want to go watch it right now. Definitely do so. It's the best way to get ready, for, get ready to brush your teeth. But that's the good news. Bad news is, the Moshi subscription has expired again. Which means, we're, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. You're going to have to wait a little bit longer until the Moshi, until we get to my Moshi, our, our newest Moshi monthly series, Buster's Zanshi Space. You're going to have to wait a few weeks' time, or, or a couple of days' time, for uh, for this to happen. So please stay tuned. But yeah, for the rest of the schedule, please check out some other cool videos on the channel. And check out Apple vs. Samsung, coming up soon on Logo History Showdown. For now, I'm Miguel Sanchez. You'll be yourself. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on Logo History. Sorry, sorry. I mean, Logo Reviews. That's right. Look at reviews. The final episode of season four and the final episode of 2022 is coming your way. Episode 100 is Smithsonian Chill. It's our centennial episode. I can't wait for it. It is our final episode of the season. So get ready for it. It's our season finale coming soon on Look Reviews. You do not want to miss it. Our, our season finale is about Smithsonian Channel. So please stay tuned. And, uh, until then, if you, want to, if you want to go catch up on past episodes, there's a playlist for that. I'll put a link to the playlist up there on the top right corner of the screen. Please click on the link up above and catch up anytime you want. Hi, everyone. It's definitely worth the wait. What else that, guys? Thanks for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to miss a new video. Please subscribe to notifications to miss a new video for me as we're on the road to 2,500 subscribers. Thanks again for watching. Take care. I'll talk to you guys again next time on Logo Reviews. I'm going to go send you a sign off. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Laters!